You know, ever since I got into tech, I've always dreamed of a device that could do something like this. A portable piece of tech that could turn any space into a movie theater, gaming arena, or my own personal workspace. And I've tried a lot of AR VR over the last few years, including past generations from Rokit, but these are just a big step up in terms of form factor, design, specs, and just overall the full experience that they bring. So let's talk about it. So you're probably wondering what exactly is Rokid AR Spatial? Well, it's a bundle on Rokid's website, which consists of the Rokid Max 2 glasses paired with the Rokid Station 2, which is a small little device which powers the glasses. Think of these like slightly chunkier conventional sunglasses weighing only 75 grams, but they can project up to a 300 inch virtual screen right in front of you. The Rokid AR Spatial comes in at $698 and weighs in at only 75 grams. And it definitely feels feather like compared to what Apple has to offer with the Vision Pro. That's $3,500 and over 600 grams of weight. And the thing is, both of them support 3D video, multi-screen modes, and also popular streaming apps. And yeah, on the Apple Vision Pro, you do have the ecosystem with Apple's App Store, but on the Rokid headset, you have full access to the Google Play Store with all the apps that Android has to offer. So you're actually paying a fraction of the price for something that's incredibly capable, much more portable, and gives you a very similar experience overall. This isn't my first ever time using a Rokid device. They've been around a while, they've been around since 2014, and a few years ago I even reviewed another pair of their glasses, and they really focused and started to push consumer AR glasses in about 2020. So this is actually Rokid's third gen product, and they even showed it off at CES at the start of the year. I think it's pretty cool that Rokid isn't just making glasses, they're actually building their own ecosystem of products and software, and you can tell they're aiming to be a leader in the AR space. Unlike a lot of other generic smart glasses out right now that focus on simple dot matrix displays or audio-based feedback, Rokid really takes these to the next level. Each lens has a full high-quality display in it, paired with stereo speakers in the stems, resulting in a super immersive experience that you don't really get anywhere else. So let's wind the clock back a little bit and talk about the unboxing experience. I personally found it really satisfying. The box unfolds just like origami, and inside you have this big carry case that can fit the Rokin Max 2, the Rokin Station 2, and also a few accessories plus cables. The main cable you need to use with these glasses is the included USB-C display cable. So that's the one you need to use whenever you plug it into a device because that's what passes through the power and also the visuals. You also get included an additional nose pad, which is adjustable. And inside the Rokit Station box, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You get the Rokit Station, you also get a nice case to put it in to protect it, and you get a charging cable to top it up, which is USB-C. And something nice is you can actually charge up the Rokit Station while also plugging in the glasses. And they also included this USB-C splitter, so if I want to charge up my phone while also using the Rokit Max 2, I can do that. Inside of each lens, there's a Sony Micro OLED display, giving you crisp visuals, super vibrant colors and 120 hertz refresh rate at 600 nits of brightness. So it's viewable whether you're inside or outside, and those specs are enough to make movies and work feel fully immersive. And something I love these for is gaming on the go. You can plug these into your Nintendo Switch, your Steam Deck, or even your laptop or smartphone, pair a controller, and just game on these, and you'll have the best gaming experience you've ever had while on the go. So Roku's goal is to give you the power to be immersed wherever you are without carrying around something big and bulky. The glasses feature flexible temple arms, an adjustable nose pad, and a lightweight design, which means you can wear them for hours without any discomfort. The lenses are fully transparent, so you can actually see straight through them while you are watching content. So it's nice being able to stay in touch with the real world. But if you do wanna get some extra immersion and you do wanna block out some of that outside world, then you can slap on this blackout cover. So I've got it attached right now. It simply pops on and off and it's super lightweight, easy to bring with you. And it completely changes the design of the glasses. So with this cover, I feel like they look more like normal glasses without when you can actually see through them, it kind of gives Ready Player One or the Matrix vibes. So it's obviously not gonna be for everyone, but yeah, this is how they look without the blackout cover. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. So when you connect up the Rokid Max 2 to the Rokid Station 2, you're greeted with this Android-like OS that floats in the air with a home screen launcher, the Rokid Store built in, as well as the Play Store. So you can go ahead and download any third-party apps and games to use on these glasses, which is awesome. That immediately opens the door to all the possibilities that you could do 
with these glasses and the Rokit Station because you could download any productivity apps and you can also download any games you want to play that you're used to using on your Android phone and you can download any entertainment apps. The way you interact and navigate around this OS is actually pretty intuitive and very familiar because there's a touchpad on the Rokit Station 2 and you interact with that just like you would on a computer with a trackpad. So you get gestures like swipe, tap, pinch, and drag. And I use this constantly. It's especially useful in multi-window mode. It really does feel like a little computer built into these. Something pretty cool is if you don't want to use the touchpad, you can use the whole Rokit Station just like a laser pointer. So you can point it wherever you want to click, tap on the gesture pad, and you can basically use it like a pointer. So you can just point and click. And there's a nice little visual on the screen as well, so you can see exactly what you're going to click on. One of the first things I tried when I turned on these glasses was the triple screen multitasking capabilities. So you can open up to three applications at once on these, and the flexibility of that is insane. You can set up windows in wide, ultra wide, or even narrow ratios depending on what you're doing. For example, I often have a YouTube video playing on one screen, my notes on another, and then also a browser for research on my third. So it feels like having a full workstation wherever I go that can fit inside of a glasses case, and there's no desk clutter. Something cool is you can even pair other peripherals to your Rokit Station 2, like a mouse, keyboard, or even a gaming controller to further enhance the experience or even turn the Rokit Station 2 into a miniature computer. Now for my workflow, obviously the Rokit Station 2 isn't capable to do everything I need. And so in those scenarios, I'm gonna just go ahead and plug in my laptop. You could go ahead and video edit straight on these glasses and have multiple screens up. And for me, I only have a 14 inch MacBook, so sometimes editing on the go can be pretty hard on a small display. And I chose that smaller laptop because I personally prioritize portability. I'm a person that's always on the go, always traveling, and so I prioritize things that are just convenient. And that's what I love about these glasses. They are exactly that. There may be better solutions out there, but if you're like me, if you're on a budget and you prioritize portability and convenience, then these are just great. But not only that, it helps me actually get locked into my work, especially if I want privacy while working. There's a couple different tracking modes when you are using these glasses. So you can make windows follow your head with movement or you can lock them into position. So you can go ahead and look around and they will stay put. The screens in this generation of the Rokit glasses are much larger than past generations. I know a lot of people criticized that the screen was kind of small. So when you lock windows in place and look around, then it actually cuts off the image as you look around because it doesn't fill up your whole peripheral vision. And so with these glasses, you do get a wider field of view. So you can look around a lot more before seeing the edge of the display cutting off your screens. There's also a sports mode packed in. So if you do want to use them while you're moving around and you're on the go, it keeps the image rock steady, cuts out motion blur, distortion, jitter. So everything stays clear. And there's also no drifting, no ghosting. So if you're walking and turning your head, this mode is perfect. On the other hand, if you're using them in the desk and you want to see text closer and clearer, then there's a reading mode. Often on other AR headsets I've used, text is just too small when working and trying to see documents and even video edit. And because the virtual screens only lock for horizontal movement, if you move your head forwards and backwards, you're not able to get closer. And so it can be hard to read. And so turning on reading mode brings those screens closer to you so you can actually read the text much easier and it does reduce eye strain. Although one thing to note is because it does make the windows bigger and closer, it actually overall gives you less working space, just something to consider. Now, my favorite mode of all is using the single screen mode. So if you don't want to multitask, if you just want to make use of that full real estate of the screens, you can go ahead and view a giant screen for content consumption up to 300 inches. Honestly, I streamed some content on these and it really did feel like being at the movies. The immersion is ridiculous. Pairing it with a computer or a switch to play games is literally a game changer. Like all you need is a controller paired with it and you're good to go. I remember as a kid, one of the one things I always wanted to do was plug my game console into a movie projector and just sit in the movie theater and play games. Pretty sure everyone wanted to do that at some point, but the experience that these glasses give you is exactly that. And because there are two displays, one in each lens, these glasses also support 3D content. So you can watch native 3D content and even spatial videos directly on these glasses. And it's pretty cool to actually have things jump out at you while you're watching. The only thing I found is it can be pretty hard to find content in this format. 
Now here's something that doesn't directly apply to me, but it is a hidden gem, and it's the fact that these glasses have intelligent pupil adaption. So they allow for real-time myopia correction from 0D to minus 60. So that basically means you don't need prescription lenses to experience crystal clear AR visuals. There's no more sacrifices or even extra costs for those people that do need glasses, which is nice. So I already mentioned that these have built-in speakers and sound quality is great. They get decently loud, they have minimal sound leak, I'd say, except when you are at max volume because, you know, the speakers are out loud. They're just technically close to your ears, but they have really good clarity. I can hear the vocals really well. Bass is surprisingly really decent for something that's not in your ear canal. And you really get that cinema surround sound feeling when you're immersed into movies. Honestly, using these day to day it really does feel like stepping into the future. It definitely looks it for sure. And wearing these can definitely feel goofy at times. They look very sci-fi and very futuristic. You can definitely tell these aren't quite normal glasses, but they definitely don't stand out like a lot of other headsets. Personally, I wouldn't mind wearing them on a flight when I'm traveling. A lot of people wear eye masks and things, so I don't think these would stand out too much. And I often carry around my laptop and also my iPad with me, so I could easily plug those in to the Rokin Max 2s and basically turn any hotel room or flight into a productive workspace. In terms of the battery life, the glasses actually rely on power from the source, so if you've got them plugged into the Rokid Station 2, it will be using the battery inside of there. And that lasts around half a day of usage, it's about a 5000 mAh battery. But technically you can get unlimited power, because there's also a USB-C port which you can use while also outputting to the glasses, so you can just plug in and infinitely use them all day. They do get pretty warm with long periods of use, but there is a fan built in to cool it down. You can definitely tell when that turns on. Obviously, if you don't want to pick up the Rokid Station 2, you can plug these directly into your smartphone, as long as your smartphone supports video output via USB-C. So you can technically use these with a Samsung phone and get Samsung DeX, or use it to play games like COD Mobile on your phone. And all you really need to do is pair a mouse and keyboard or a controller to your phone, and you have a full setup with a device you'd already be carrying in your pocket anyway. So if you want to travel extra light, then you can save some money and pick up the Rokid Max 2 for 429 US dollars standalone. If you do want to pick one of these up, definitely check the description down below. I'll leave a discount code as well as a link so you can pick it up at the best price possible. But yeah, I've actually had a fun experience playing around with these. I think form factor, they've definitely got some space for improvement. They definitely could be a little bit thinner and more like regular glasses. They also sit pretty high on your face. This can be a good thing though, because you actually can just look down and see back in the real world without lifting the glasses up, but they sit pretty far forwards. And from the side on, I think you can definitely tell they are smart AR glasses. But if you're the type of person that likes trying out new, different, innovative tech, plus if these features appeal to you and your needs, then I definitely think this is worth trying out. But that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.